30 seconds. Let's fucking go, 30 seconds. 30 seconds for the rest of your fucking life. Go in it. Yeah, yeah. 30 seconds for the rest of your life. 10 seconds. Oh, God. God, you fucking come in. God, God, you fucking come in. 51. 51. Fuck all of you. Fuck Larry Potter, bitch. Fuck me with them. For the tax, need more blocks, need more stacks, beggars on the traps, dodging from the paps, we go with the naps, solar flare with our body, I see so clear that they know me, I see you snapping on the slide, afraid of me like I'm holy, affecting after Adobe, I reach high levels like Yogi, the only motherfucker doing this, that, every motherfucking thing, now they tell me I'm- So, new series, let's give this a try. So basically, in this series, I'll be explaining some major beefs KSI is involved in his career with different YouTubers. These beefs that I'll be explaining will be based on research and what's out there on the internet. So yeah, to start off with the series, we go all the way back to 2014. In this first episode, we'll be talking about Gujon Daniel. Who would I punch in the throat? Probably Gujon Daniel. <laughs> Several times. That was the videos that I first started watching. What, with Gujon Daniel? When you met with Gujon Daniel? Oh, that's when he was cool and then, you know, he used me. Did he? Yeah. Well, how many subs you got now? Oh, he's losing subs, mate. <laughs> and I'm enjoying every single moment of it. You know, when I started the whole me being KSI, blah, 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 like, it, it was just me. But I mean, even then, I was still like, you know, helping my bro out, mm. uh, helping Goujon out, you know, helping Simon. People forget that. Helping. What's I, your relationship like at the moment? Are you talking uh, at all? Or is uh, it just like, let's just leave it at that? <laughs> let's just leave it at that. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I want to talk about this, like some of your past beefs, like way back in the day, and, and I can't remember his name, but you had a beef with a former friend on YouTube, and all you really said publicly about him is that he tried to use you, and he, like he, this kid would just get constant hate, and then he left the internet. What was that guy's name? Was I, rem I remember that vaguely, too. No, another FIFA YouTuber. He was YouTuber. like a UK YouTuber. I don't think he was right? from the UK though, was he? Yeah. He was from, like, Russia or somewhere. Yeah. Eastern European. Oh wait, Guzon Daniel? Like, dude, the internet doesn't know this story, JJ. Like, does anyone, like, can you tell us what? of Gangnam Style. KSI was still in his bedroom playing FIFA. KSI was in his FIFA Prime. Everything was rising for KSI and the gaming community. And KSI was doing some questionable videos. Hey, they were elite. And also around the same time, JJ was friends with the Icelandic YouTuber, Gujon Daniel. JJ met Gujon at an EA event, and they were close friends ever since. And at the said event, Gujon begged JJ for an opportunity on YouTube. Gujon at the time was working at a soap factory and said that it was horrible for him. And with the humble kindness of JJ, he agreed to help Gujon to grow his channel. KSI flew to Iceland to film some videos with Gujon and help him get exposure. But yeah, same thing will happen next week and it will be in Iceland this time. Ooh. But yeah, I'll be with my friend Gujon Daniel and uh, yeah, that'd be pretty fun. So you can ask us questions um, when I'm in Iceland. So yeah, I'll see you guys there. So moving on, I've been out and about. If you follow me on Facebook or Twitter, you will know that I've been out and about. So firstly, I went to Iceland, met my friend Gujon Daniel. We did some stuff here and there. Check out his channel in the description below. And then after that, I went to America and we did some stuff there with Kick TV. Check them out in the description below. Craziness happened. After filming all these videos, JJ thought he helped Gujon enough and decided to fly back home. And as soon as Gujon uploaded the videos, his channel started to blow up, like legit blow up. The guy went from 10k views to hundreds and millions of views. And in two months, Gujon went from 18,000 subscribers to 80k subscribers, 8-0. So it was going really well for Gujon. 
But the day Kes I left Iceland is what I can say the day that started Gujon Daniel's downfall. Two words prior to that. Okay, you fine, play, fine. You play KSI. Who the f is that? Okay, uh, oh, oh. Does anyone know what happened to KTV? Who the f KSI? Yeah, exactly. Really, what? On the <laughs> was it you? Who was he? Who was it? I think it was all. Uh, I think he interviewed Gujon and he was like, what do you think of KSI? I don't know why he asked it, it was so random. Well, I think he wanted to hear a little bit about the beef, but okay. didn't expect that answer. Yeah, and pretty much Gujon just went. And as soon as I heard that, I went. <laughs> Are you serious? Like I was, I was on Twitter. I was like, Are you serious? What the? F are you? Are you? What? Gujon? Literally, I have helped you. After Gujon gained those subs and views thanks to KSI, Gujon decided to do his own videos. But sadly, it didn't gain the same view range as the KSI collabs. His regular videos would usually get 40 to 50k views while the KSI collabs were 6 or 7 digits worth of views. Gujon was in panic. He could have stuck to trying to be creative or try to improve his content. But no, Gujon was convinced that the only way to grow his channel and gain views again is to do more videos with JJ. And so, Gujon flew to London without KSI knowing. And Gujon claimed that he wanted to celebrate New Year's in London. Daniel rang JJ and said that he was flying to London to film more videos. JJ, in shock, asked if he just came for making videos and not just say hi or just hang out and chill. But Gujon was fully concentrating on the videos. And he was just like, this is sick. And then, dum, dum, dum. the videos ran out. The videos with me, like, together, ran out. All 15, and, 20 of them. And pretty much, yeah, and he, and he, he, he tried doing his own thing. But it wasn't getting as many views. So he was like, how am I going to get bigger? How am I going to get more views on my channel? And obviously I was like, you know, you've got to be able to do your own thing by yourself. You can't just rely on me. But he didn't listen to that. And he booked a flight to England. Without you. Without know. me knowing. <laughs> uh, what you call it? I think it was like Christmas time, near Christmas time, New Year's. Another reason why he also booked it was because he wanted to spend his time for New Year's in London. He just just ran him once. So, pretty much, he, <laughs> he ran and booked it, and then he was like, JJ, I'm coming to England. <laughs> and pretty much, he was like, yeah, I'm coming to England. Like, I, you know, I need to do some videos with you. And I was like, D don't you want to just come say hi? Or just, he was like, yeah, yeah, I want to say hi. But then also videos, like a load, a load of videos. So I was like, okay, cool, this, all right. Guess I had to book Gujan a hotel since his house at the time was pretty small and Gujan didn't have any space to stay. And picking the hotel for Gujan was kind of a hassle too for JJ. JJ decided to book a hotel next to where he lived. But Gujan, for some reason, decided to book a hotel at Hackney. Yes, Hackney. For some that don't live in London and don't know why it's an issue, well, yeah. JJ tried to convince Gujon about the dangers of Hackney, but he kept insisting. Gujon promised to pay back for the hotel anyway, so yeah. And Gujon went all out on the videos. When KSI was in Iceland, they filmed a few videos, like 8 or 7 videos. But this time around, it was around like 20 plus videos. It was stressful for JJ, and it was around Christmas and New Year's at the time. So KSI was confused why Gujon was so desperate with the videos. So then, Gujon got half of the footage that he had with JJ and left London. And JJ got the other half of the footage. So it was like a 50-50 thing. And so, Gujon's channel started rising again. He went from 80k subscribers to 160,000. And a month later again, Gujon ran out of KSI collaboration videos. And so, Gujon called JJ and asked for the batch of videos that he filmed with JJ. I'll let Kesai talk about it. He bought loads and loads of videos and then he had to leave and he only took like half the footage. Yeah. So he posted a load of all those footages and, uh, and then he hit me up and he was like, all right, I'm going to need the other, other batch of videos. And I was like, I will give you the batch when you pay me back for the hotel. For the hotel. Which he said he would pay you back and He for. said he was going to pay me back. But he didn't, so he was like, yeah, yeah, I'll pay you back. 
once I get that badge. And I was like, nah, 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 nah. So, come on, uh, am I dumb? <laughs> no. <laughs> it was rhetorical. Go on. <laughs> but uh, I was like, dude, like, I'll give you the badge as soon as I get the video. I mean, as soon as I get the money. And he never paid me back. Gujan could have easily paid back JJ. The big demonetization issue on YouTube wasn't even a thing at the time. So it's still a question to this day as to why Gujan never paid KSI. This drama would have never happened if he just paid him the money. After this incident, JJ never mentioned Gujan again. But after that drama, Gujan had an interview with Kick TV. And in the interview, Gujan was asked about KSI. And Gujan just out of the blue said, Who the fuck is that? Recently, I just started playing, you know, Vagers, Pink Slips, you know, yeah, stuff like okay. that. You didn't play that many YouTubers prior to that. Okay, you fine, play, fine. You play KSI. Who the right. is that? Okay. Uh, oh, 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 okay. And, um, Don't go there. And JJ was furious when he saw this. And Gujan was receiving a lot of hate comments, death threats. He was losing subscribers. It was like as if this was 2013 James Charles versus Tati but backwards. It was a legitimate big downfall for Gujon. Every video he'd make will always have a huge amount of dislikes and hate. This which led Gujon to leave the internet. He uploaded a video called it's time to say goodbye and <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't it's it's hard to take this video seriously. Oh my days, I didn't think this was gonna be so freaking difficult, but it is! Well, like you guys may know, I've been extremely unactive on YouTube recently, and that is mainly because I've been thinking a lot about my future. And you know what? I have come to a conclusion, and yes, if you read the title in this video, you already know what I'm about to say. Uh, first of all, I just must say, I've been thinking about this for the past the months. And the secondly, I- <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Uh, and in the video, Gujan apologized to KSI. Mods along, Gabba, guys. I can't end my YouTube career without doing this. Yes, I'm gonna talk about one more thing before I go, and that is this. Oh, I have never spoken about this before, but I'm gonna do it now. Well, mainly because that this is my final video. Oh my god, so here we go. Let's just do this. A KSI, whatever I did to you, I sincerely do apologize. I just wish I could take everything back. God will, man. I'll not do it, man. That is just not how this life works. I just JJ, man, we used to be good friends, so yes, I am so sorry, man, I'm sorry. With that said, I wish you all the best in the future, and yes, I hope your amazing YouTube channel will keep on growing, which I know it will. Once again, I am so sorry. And KSI, of course, forgave Gujan, saying on a tweet, That wasn't so hard now, was it? Don't know when you started talking like you're constantly constipated. <laughs> uh, but apology accepted. And so, Gujan left the internet. He of course came back after 2 years. Gujan was hoping that the hate would die down till then, but the hate was still ongoing. And once again, he left the internet. And a few years went by. KSI was one of the biggest YouTubers ever. He just defeated Joe Weller at the time. Jake Paul was ducking KSI. Everything was going sky high for JJ. And Gujan was making videos, but the views were very low. Days after the Joe Weller fight, KSI and Gujan Daniel came across each other out of the blue. JJ at the time has forgotten all about the beef. And so, they squashed it. No hard feelings between the two, they talked it out and squashed it. And became friends again. So that's how far the KSI Gujan Daniel beef has gone. And as far as the future of the two, I mean, we know what KSI's future is gonna be. Big things in the entertainment scene. Big things in music, boxing, just reaching for something higher. Gujan, on the other hand, when it comes to his channel, I don't know. So far, his last upload was December 4, 2020, where he was announcing his charity Twitch stream. And on his Twitch, he hasn't streamed in two months. And Gujan's VODs are only for subscribers. So that shows that the KSI hate is still there. And as for Gujan's personal life, dude's dad now. And I think he's changed for the better now. And now he has bigger responsibilities. And I think fans should stop hating on the guy. And if you're still gonna hate on the guy, 
You gotta give him credit where credit is due. I don't think he's the same guy back in 2013. KSI ruined his life and learned his lesson. He's a father now, and we should respect that. Hoping the best for Gujon.